Okay, thank you for joining me. This is module 1.2, which will discuss industrial design with Adobe Illustrator CC. We will talk about what industrial design is, uh, what industries use industrial designers, what industrial designers do, a little bit about the uh, industrial design process, why you should learn Adobe Illustrator Creative Cloud for industrial design. According to the Industrial Designers Society of America, industrial design is the professional service of creating products and systems that optimize function, value, and appearance for the mutual benefit of both user and manufacturer. In simpler terms, uh, this is from Wikipedia again, industrial design is a process of design applied to products that are to be manufactured through techniques of mass production so you've experienced the results of industrial design whenever you've driven a car upgraded your phone or bought a pair of shoes those are obvious but what about the last time you had your temperature taken at the doctor's office the new thermometer that just rolls across your forehead instead of sticking it under your tongue. That was designed by an industrial designer. The computer mouse you're using didn't look like that in the beginning. Or maybe you've gone to using touch or gestures on a touch screen on your tablet and are not even using a mouse at all anymore. How about the LED turn signals on the side mirror of the car you drive? The earth-friendly recyclable bottle or the reusable grocery bag you use at the store. The chair you're sitting on. All of these products and a whole lot more are the result of industrial design. In fact, at many industrial design schools, a major project is the design of a chair. So what industries need industrial designers? Pretty much every industry. Toys, cars, furniture, construction and architecture, consumer electronics, aircraft and transportation design, fashion, even food industry uses designers for packaging, and don't forget film. Uh, all the props that are made use uh, industrial designers of some sort. So what might you end up doing as an industrial designer? According to the website, again, for the Industrial Designers Society of America, there are 32 steps in the process of industrial design, and I'll just give you an overview. The industrial design process includes a number of sketches to help establish the product, the idea, the study, uh, reference, and other information that helps to define the product and identify it. After these sketches, a rendering of the idea is created. The sketch rendering is also called the first concept, and a rendering is a visual work of art. In this case, it's not final, but it should give a general idea of what the product should look like. After the sketch rendering, the product goes through a few iterations of storyboards to establish use ideal finished form and ends in the layout rendering. The layout rendering should be a realistic visual presentation of the product so that the client can make decisions. Once approved, the product goes through various stages of drawings for schematics, perspective, arrangement, and details. In each iteration, the product gets more refined and detailed, and the last drawing in the process before three-dimensional models is the technical illustration. The technical illustration shows each part of the product and its position within the whole. Once the design process reaches the models, the product becomes a physical representation of the final. Models include the sketch, sometimes called the foam or rough model, showing the basic shape of the product, the design development model which is used to establish the connection and movement of major components, the functional model for showing how the moving parts and electronics function, the operational model to ensure ergonomic use, the appearance model or block model to show the appearance of the product. The assembly model in which the methods and tools of assembly are planned. The production model 
which is used to refine the final pieces and components of the products. And finally, the service model, which is used to establish the means of servicing and maintaining the product. Once the models are approved and defined, the product moves through various stages of prototype until finally a pre-production prototype is ready for manufacturing. As far as this course is concerned, we will skip around within the industrial design process. And instead of focusing on the flow of one product or concept, we will discuss portions of the process as they pertain to the use of the software tools in Adobe Illustrator Creative Cloud. Further study in industrial design is recommended. And this industrial design process will be outlined in more depth within the intermediate and advanced courses to be offered later. Sometimes there's a lot of gray area and overlap in industrial design. For instance, as a graphic designer, I had to pick up 3D modeling and understand a little bit of automotive industrial design for a project. So while I didn't do official automotive design, I had to understand the concepts. Product packaging is also an overlap between graphic design and industrial design. User interface and user experience design is a hybrid of industrial design, website design, and graphic design because all play a role to enhance the experience of the end user. For example, Richard Howarth, no relation obviously, led the design of the iPhone, but he worked with other people in software to design the user interface and hardware to fit all the goodies that Steve Jobs wanted inside. So why should you learn Adobe Illustrator for industrial design? Well, for one, it is the leading design application for industrial design, apart from 3D modeling tools which are out there. I do recommend that you find a good 3D program and use that to build shapes and then export them. And then you can work on the colors and lines in Adobe Illustrator and or Photoshop. Second, learning Adobe Illustrator will help you to transition to other vector editing software programs. Uh, some of these might be Corel Draw, Inkscape, the GIMP, Zara Extreme, Draw Plus, Pencil, Carbon, Sketch, and Affinity Designer. The techniques I will teach you will allow you also to cross over from industrial design to illustration, to graphic design, and even cover fundamentals you may use for web design layout. So why this course for learning Adobe Illustrator? Uh, number one, it's got an Adobe Illustrator Creative Cloud focus, but the tools and techniques are things that I'm sharing that I have used since 1997. I'm also not going to limit my instruction to Adobe Illustrator. I will include some use of Photoshop as needed and other tools in the Adobe Creative Cloud, as well as some free or inexpensive programs. For example, for 3D rendering, just to get a feel for what angle I want to see in an illustration, I will use SketchUp, or uh, if I need a human a reference of a human being in a certain pose, I might use Manga Studio or just find a reference photo on the internet. In fact, the internet is great for reference photos for all sorts of things you may want to illustrate in your designs. And we'll talk more about these resources in later lessons. Thank you for your time and attention. The next section is 1.3, which is getting started with Adobe Illustrator Creative Cloud. And we will actually open it up and start working with it. So thank you again. Bye.